What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the location on your device using a program called iAnyGo directly from the phone. Now this is available on the website iAnyGo.com. There's a free trial available for both Windows and Mac OS but right now they also have an iOS application. We're going to get into that in a second. So this essentially allows you to change the GPS location of your phone for any application that requires maps support, GPS support and essentially you can change it to anywhere in the world. That way the application or game will believe you really are in that location. This is useful for games like Pokemon Go, which is displayed over here, because you can literally stay on your couch, but you're still playing the game, you're still moving on the map, and you can move on the map on places you can't normally be. So this is one of the uh, reasons you would want to use this. Other reasons are privacy. You can change the location on social media, dating apps, and stuff like that. You can check the program out in the link below. As I said, a free trial is available. It supports iOS 17, but we're going to check out the iOS version instead of the computer version today. So I have the phone connected over here and I do have iAnyGo. It's installed over here and this is how the application looks like. Now once you install it, it shows the map, your current location and here inside the application you have all the settings necessary. But before you go through these settings, you're going to have to do something in the computer application. It does require the computer at least one time in order to activate the toolbox that is required that provides the files the application requires in order to do the change on the GPS data. So to do that, you just have to navigate here to the computer, get then or share iAnyGo either for Windows or for Mac OS. Both of them would work. And what's important is that for the toolbox to work, you don't need to have the premium version. You will be able to install the toolbox to your phone without having the activation for then or share iAnyGo on the computer. You just need to have the activation for your phone. So you don't need two licenses for this. You just need your phone license. Once you have the computer version, as you can see, I have it over here. It's not activated because I have the key icon over there to register it, we're going to have to open it, connect the phone and just press the toolbox icon over there and press install resource. That's exactly what you need to do with the device connected of course. And that will install the necessary resources. I do have them already which means that now I can change the location directly on the phone. But once you do that you will be able to switch locations directly from the application without ever connecting to a computer again. Previously this kind of applications required you to be connected to a computer in order to change the location. Now you only have to be connected once to get the resources and then you are able to do so from the app basically forever. So let's change the location then. I'm gonna go ahead and change the location to someplace else. You can either use the map over here or you can search a destination but I'm gonna use the map. Let's change it to somewhere in Canada. I'm gonna go to let's say Regina over here and then press this little blue icon over here with the pin on the map and it says one click configuration. I'm gonna press it and press start and that would be it. In a couple of seconds it will change the location and every single application that uses GPS data will actually believe you are in Regina, Canada. Now you have a timer here at the top and uh, it says in here that if you modify your location in Pokemon Go, recommend avoiding critical actions until the countdown ends. So if you're going to do any sort of critical action, whatever that means in the game, you're going to have to wait for that timer to end because otherwise you risk getting banned or you risk your account getting flagged and stuff. So if you switch the location fast you just have that timer over there which is recommended for you to wait until it finishes anyway if you want to actually use a different approach you can go from a location to another and you can set up the speed for example I'm gonna go ahead and set up the speed over here and it's going to show you the details about your current speed and stuff so I'm gonna go with the third button over here and I can press another icon and another part in another part of the map and this will create a path and I'm gonna press start moving and it will start moving towards that direction and it will follow the uh, paths that I have created over here. Now the speed that you have predefined in here tells the application what you want, whether it would be to simulate walking or to simulate going by bike or even by car. Now you know better for your application use case what is required, but at this point this application makes your device believe it's actually moving. And if you go ahead on the maps, I'm going to go here on Apple Maps and I'm going to press the button to show me my current location you can see that it now shows that I am indeed moving and I am moving towards that new path and I am in Regina, Canada as you can see over here. And yes, it does register the fact that you're moving. So at this point, you can just go ahead in the application, change your path, 
switch anything in here. You can even star locations if you want to save them for later. On the choose map menu you have either streets or dark or light, outdoors and even satellite and satellite with streets which is pretty neat if you want a better degree of accuracy on your map. So I'm gonna go ahead in here and show you exactly where we are. You can see down to every single street. So yeah, that's how you do it. If you want to pause it you press pause over here and if you want to stop it entirely you press the stop button and yes and that's it. That's essentially it, that's how you use this. It's actually quite interesting. It's a pretty neat application. You can jump to a specific location by pressing this button and it jumps instantly. So you should definitely bear in mind the cooldown though because games like this one can definitely get you banned if you do sudden moves like this or if you are in one place in a second and then the next second you are halfway across the world. It could be detected and you could risk your account. So you either try this on a secondary account or you just wait for the uh, timer in here to cool down before you do any critical actions after you change your location. That's for the safety of your account. Account. Timer can be disabled, but I do not recommend it. So that's how you change your location for any application that requires GPS data with INEGO. Definitely check the program out in the link below. Now it doesn't require a computer, at least not after you install the resources, so it's much easier to use directly from the phone. Thank you for watching. I'm GSNow. Till the next time, peace out.